Hi Steve fans, welcome back to the channel. Getting back into diving after a period of inactivity is sometimes a daunting process, especially if the reason for stopping diving in the first place was a bad experience underwater. But not everyone stops diving because of a scary incident. Sometimes life just gets in the way and diving falls by the wayside. I've spoken to countless people over the years who say, I did my paddy course X amount of years ago, or I used to dive back in the day, and so on. Just remember, diving is one of those activities that can be done by all ages, and it's never too late to get back on the wagon. In this video, I'll offer some sage advice on returning to scuba diving. Our sponsor this week is Paralens, and we've got one of these little beauties to give away, but more about that later in the video. For those here for the first time, my name's Mark, I'm the Editor-in-Chief of the Scuba Diver Media Brand, and welcome to the Scuba Diver YouTube channel. Before we get into this latest video, take two seconds and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future content. And give that bell a ring so that you get notification of the latest releases. Everyone loves something for nothing, right? Check out the description below for all sorts of goodies like a free digital subscription to any of our magazines. Now, let's dive into the video. I used to dive butt. I did my open water course years ago, but I haven't dived since. I had a scary incident and quit diving are all things I have heard time and again at dive shows, on dive trips, and even just at friends and family gatherings. It's amazing how many people are out there who used to dive and then, for a variety of reasons, no longer venture into our watery world of adventure. Whenever I'm confronted by one of these people, I always seek to discover why they stopped diving in the first place, and then do my level best to tempt them back into our awesome sport. So, Let's have a look at some of the common reasons I have heard for quitting diving. I used to dive, but then we had kids. Probably one of the main reasons I get told is that life simply got in the way. Some people stop diving due to getting a new job, getting a house, meeting a non-diving partner, and so on. But the number one reason is that children turned up on the scene and diving was put on the back burner. Some people do return to diving after having children. My wife and I went on our first post-birth dive trip when our son Luke was just eight months old. But far too often, it seems that diving is permanently lost to the history books for many parents. I think this is a crying shame, as diving is one of those activities that can be done as a family, much like skiing. There are even companies out there like Kids Sea Camp, which specialise in offering family-friendly dive trips to locations all over the world. Children can get into scuba diving from the age of eight through pool or confined water programmes, with most training agencies offering full scuba courses, albeit with junior depth limits in place, from the age of 10. However, you can get youngsters into the water long before then. Luke was snorkelling from the age of three and he had his first taste of breathing through a regulator at the age of five and a half on a SASE system, or surface air supplied snorkeling for youth. This is basically a dinky cylinder on a small BCD that is packed full of high density foam, providing huge amounts of buoyancy. The children bomb around on the surface, breathing through a standard regulator, but they can lift the heads out of the water at any given moment. Luke did SASE when we were in the Cayman Islands with Kids Sea Camp and I still remember him out at the four metre dive known as Stingray City, bent at the waist, head down and flailing his arms like mad, trying to get below the surface. This is a great intro for children into scuba systems and sets them up well for when they can do bubble maker and scuba ranger programs when they turn eight. From the age of 10, once they have an entry level certification, you can all dive as a family. And believe me, Nothing beats the feeling of exploring a reef or a wreck with your entire clan in tow. The fact that most junior open water qualifications are limited to 12 metres or so is no bad thing either, as if you've been out of the water for a few years, sticking to these shallower, shallower depths 
for your dives together will get you back into the swing of things in a safe manner. It has been too many years since I dived. That brings me on nicely to the next reason for people not diving. It's just been too long since they last ventured beneath the surface. However, diving is a bit like riding a bike. It's amazing how all those skills come rushing back to you when you get your equipment on and actually go for a dive. But I'm not suggesting that you just dig out your old gear from the back of the shed and go for a dive. There are various ways to get yourself back into the groove. Dive with a buddy. You might have a very experienced buddy who is suitably competent to take you back into the water for your first few dives after an extended layoff. Just be aware though, that just because someone is a long time diver with literally thousands of dives under their belt, they might not be the best person to take you for your first dives in a while. I know some hugely experienced divers who definitely know their stuff, but I wouldn't want them taking a newbie into a swimming pool, never mind the sea. So just bear that in mind if a well-meaning friend offers to get you back in the water. Do a refresher. One of the best ways to get back into the water when you have not dived in a while is to sign up for a refresher course with your local dive center. Here, a qualified instructor or dive master will be able to guide you through setting up your gear, getting back into the water, and then running through some basic skills and drills. As I said, you will find that muscle memory and those core skills will come rushing back to you once you are underwater. But it's a good idea to go through all the basics, mass clearing, regulator retrieval, and so on, as well as get back into the feeling of just scuba diving in general in this controlled and monitored environment. These sessions only last a few hours and are not expensive, but are a fantastic way to brush up on your skill set and properly prepare to get back diving. Do your open water course. If people have been out of the water for a seriously extended time period, I'm talking several years, then I often suggest it will be a good idea for them to redo their entry level open water course. These are only a few days long and training and techniques are constantly evolving. So it's a great way to safely return to the diving fraternity and at the same time, bolster your skill set with some up-to-date knowledge. Before I get into the next reason for quitting diving, Here's a message from our sponsor, Paralens. Paralens Vikita, small, powerful, an underwater camera with a mission. With auto record, that starts recording when you hit the water. Auto depth controlled color correction that dynamically changes based on your depth. The Vikita allows you to discover the depths below with real time data collection. The Vikita is packed full of features. Join the next generation of ocean lovers in re-envisioning diving as an act of meaningfulness. Every dive counts. Check out in the description below to win one of these nifty little action cameras. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Right, on with the next reason people stop diving. My partner does not dive. I know far too many people who hung up their fins when they got married or met a long-term partner and their significant other did not dive. Again, this is a real shame as diving is a fabulous sport for couples. At the end of the day, they're already main buddy team. I always urge people whose partners don't dive to try and lure them into our watery world. Sometimes you just have to give up and realize they'll never become a diver but quite often I have seen these non-diving spouses get seriously addicted and end up even more of a dive addict than their diving other half. A great way to get both people diving is to do the open water course together. As I said, if it's been several years since you last dived, then redoing the open water course is not a bad idea anyway. But if you can do it with your partner, even better. I remember a friend of mine who was going to the Maldives on his honeymoon. Years before he'd done his entry level course in a quarry in the UK, but then he'd not dived since. His wife was a complete non-diver. I lambasted him that he could not go to the Maldives and not dive and suggested they both do their open water course while they were out there. 
A few weeks later, I saw them, and they excitedly told me they had followed my advice and done their open water certification. I then asked, how many dives have you done? And they replied, just the four. I was astounded that on a two week trip, they'd only done the four qualifying open water dives, but then they told me what they'd seen on those dives. Dive one, they had a dolphin came and played with them in the midst of a skill circuit. Dive two, they saw manta ray and eagle rays. Dive three, a hammerhead shark swam through the group, and on dive four, at their safety stop, they were buzzed by a whale shark. While I was cursing them under my breath, they said, where should we dive next? And I told them tongue in cheek to take up golf, as they were never gonna equal those initial four dives. Some people are just lucky, I guess. I had a scary experience this is perhaps another regular reason for stopping diving that I hear. People have been diving and scared themselves silly, and then they've not dived since. Now I've been on boats when divers have had a moment and now are on the brink of jacking everything in. But if you can calm them down and get them back in the water for a gentle, relaxing dive, the exact opposite of whatever incident freaked them out, then you stand a good chance of keeping them in the diving world. But if it's been a long while since the incident, then it's harder to overcome those deep-seated fears. But it's not impossible. Again, signing up for a full open water course is a great idea if it's been a long time since they were last in the water. Going back to basics is a good way to reset and start them back on the diving ladder. If it hasn't been that long since they can dive in, then going for some nice, easy, shallow dives with an instructor or a dive guide is a good course of action. Just being back in the water in a relaxed fashion can reignite their love for the sport. More often than not, when the proverbial hit the fan, the diver in question was probably pushing the limits of their diving abilities. So keeping things nice and relaxed is a surefire way to push that horrible memory of diving into the furthest recesses of their brain. The main thing with these people is to not run before they can walk, but in a diving sense. Their confidence may go through, through the roof after a couple of shallow dives, but the worst thing they can do is then charge back into the deeper, more challenging dives they were doing pre-incident, as then they are just asking for something similar, or worse, to happen again. Get them to take things slowly and steadily, increasing the difficulty of their dives as their confidence and skills grow and return. Before long, they'll be back in the thick of it, loving the diving again, and that scary moment will be a distant memory. Have you had a layoff from diving? How did you get back into the diving saddle? Leave your comments below, and if you've got a question, fire away. Because if we can't answer it, I'm sure some of our ever-growing subscriber list will be able to assist. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our future content. And go check out our playlist for more educational and entertaining videos. Don't forget to click on the link in the description below for your chance to win this power lens. As always, if you're going diving, stay safe.